going on YouTube? Got a little update here with this bed that I'm uh, obviously done making look brandy new. And uh, I realized there's really no videos about cleaning out your beds on lines. But then again, no, <laughs> no one really has beds that are as horrible as mine with all the algae growth and crazy uh, root growth from those tomatoes last year and everything. So it's time to clean this thing out. And as you can see, I made it look nice and beautiful here. And in doing so, I found an awesome trick that nobody on YouTube uh, is talking about. And I guess it's like a little trade secret when it comes to uh, taking care of your beds. And I figured that I would just pass it on to you guys in the gardening community that do some aquaponics because it's going to be a lifesaver for you guys. Because when you see this bed coming up, man, it is disgusting looking after growing for, what, two years straight, going into its third year um, and never being cleaned out. So it was time. It was definitely due. Well, that's time. Saw this bed. This is kind of what it looked like, except there was more rocks in there. I already took one, uh, I don't know, 25 pound bucket, so I guess two and a half gallons worth of rock out of here. And this method. All right, and this seems to be working pretty good. So um, now I'm gonna, gonna grab more. Uh, it only seems to be a, uh, a much of the top that actually had all the roots and everything, so I'm not going to, I don't think, have to take all the rock out. But, going for another round here, and then we'll move outside. Alright, and now we're outside. As you can see, all I did was spread them all out. And uh, got another one getting ready to go here. All I did was take a dog food bag and just cut it into like a small little tarp. Had a couple extra laying around that I should have thrown away because of that noisemaker in the background there. I've got them. And uh, I just figured that would be nice and easy to use. So, just like the previous example right there where I started already, I'm just going to lay them on out and start with the water. And usually, if you work back and forth over it, um, normally the roots are just popping right out and flowing away with the water. I'm on a slight incline here, so that'll help a little bit. But... That's the whole uh, way to clean them, and we're just going to get to it right now. Alright, now they're all spread out. I usually start in a big pile like that, and just start uh, going back and forth over it with the hose, and see how many roots we can get off. As you can see now, we got them washed down a little bit, initial wash anyway. Uh, got a lot of those roots and some algae and uh, probably a bunch of really beneficial bacteria and stuff like that all out of there. And, uh, and I don't have my well hooked up anymore, so I am using city water. So pretty much this is uh, the way we're going to do it and just keep on going until we expand this all the way to the you know, outskirts of uh, this, and then I'll probably mix them up a little bit, do it all over again, maybe do it again after that. And like I said, I'm using city water, so then after that, they're gonna sit out here in this beautiful, nice sun, and just sit here. Uh, I'm gonna try to drain them as much as I can, get all that chlorinated water out of there, and then they're gonna dry out in the sun, and then it'll be time to throw them right back into the bed and start growing again. This is actually the first time I've ever had to clean a bed out, so I figured I would go ahead and uh, shoot a video about this. And like I said, I'm probably uh, washing away a bunch of good beneficial bacteria. So I would definitely, if I was going to clean out all my beds, I would definitely stagger them. Do one, wait a few weeks, you know, maybe a month or something. I don't know. I'm not an expert or anything like that, but that kind of makes sense because you don't want to take out all of your bacteria at one time and then rely on your bi uh, bio filter or swirl filter to take up all the rest because you know there's beneficial bacteria living in them root rocks <laughs> all right I'm, i got a bunch more spraying to do so i'm gonna get all this and get it done 
All right, and whenever uh, you get done with an initial run, you just pick up on the corners, everything falls to the middle, start all over again. And one other thing that you might want to consider is keeping your camera a safe distance away from your hose for whenever your nozzle that looks like this and has a little tensioner on there blows off and starts shooting water all over the place. That's a good safety note. All right, well, that's good enough for these people. Uh, I got both of them. They're all laid out. I'm going to let them dry and see if I can pick out any more of these uh, roots and stuff like that and maybe give them another wash down and then we'll be done. All right, now it's the next day. We got another nice warm day today. It's already like 70, a little bit over 70 degrees in February, so that's pretty awesome. Um, but this one uh, still has some water in it. You can see the color of it and everything. It's not at all the way uh, completely uh, dried out over there. But this one over here is looking pretty good. And most of that is completely dry. And now, um, whenever uh, I go through it, like sift it and stuff right with my hand, now I'm getting clumps like this that are real easy to get out now. All you have to do is just move the rock around and they're already dried up and shriveled and everything. The rocks aren't sticking to them anymore and you just pull them right out. So, I don't know, this seems to be a pretty uh, half decent technique, although it's taken a little while. But, uh, eh, whatever works. So now all I gotta do is uh, I'm gonna put these rocks back into the bucket by hand. That way I can go through them and make sure there's no more roots getting in there. And now it's time to build a new bed. Build it back the way it was anyways, or build it the way it's going to be, I should say. Okay, while well that stuff's out there drying, I figured I'd come in here and rebuild my intake. So first thing I did was make it a lot longer. Now it's going all the way down. And now it goes to about a little bed there of uh, gravel, uh, red lava rock. And then I'm just gonna fill it in with pee around there and hopefully it won't get too clogged up with roots because I won't be able to see it very well. The idea with the ring is so that I have a small viewing area to look down into. That didn't work very well last year because I had one of them and that entire root mass took over. But hey, it's here to begin with, so. what that is going to look like so getting very close all right we got some rain coming our way it sounds like got some thunder in the distance and it's starting to get a little cooler so and the sun comes in and out so we're gonna cheat this is how I normally wash down brand new rocks that I get I have a minnow net that's real fine and I just put the rock in the net and wash it just that simple so I'm gonna hurry up and do that stuff and we will move on. Looking pretty good actually. Didn't think this would work very well. Alright, now we're back in here again and uh, I washed down the rocks and everything and everything went pretty smooth. So I brought them on in here, threw them all into the bed, and then, and once you get them in here, now this is the most important part, <laughs> this is what's going to guarantee your success or your failure, and this is the key point of the entire video of how you make this uh, bed look brand new again, is you go grab another bag of rock and you put about two inches of rock all over the top here, that way it looks like you did all kind of work. Haha, <laughs> nobody's talking about that on YouTube, huh? <laughs> I did uh, wash down a little bit more rock and threw it on top, but uh, all the rest of the rock is in here, and it's all uh, looking pretty good, actually. Kind of crummy down there, but, you know, keep digging. It's just wet. A little bit of crap in there and everything, but not too bad. Add a little bit more rock. Got my drain, or er, my intake over there all set. I'm ready to do some gardening. Alright, till next time. Later. Thank you, Pictures. Thank you, Pictures.